it's a painful production day. difficulties today. So it turns out that even though I thought I had uh, everything set properly, that actually um, my uh, the Elgato's uh, audio level got dropped down to like 6% before, so that's why there was no uh, in-game audio coming across. Let's rig our options today. Uh, again, I apologize for all the herky jerky. Visual, third person, maybe English. What I don't see. Man. I did not see any options for uh, control. Thing may not work at all if this controller input doesn't work. Three, two, one. I know this was supposed to be controller enabled. Okay. Yeah, so when I played this before, uh, I played it with the keyboard. So. So this run I'm trying to make with the 360 wireless controller. So, alright, well, maybe this will turn out okay and it'll be a rewarding gaming experience. Okay, yeah, controller inputs are working. Three, two, one. Environment has changed. Double jump, okay. Oh, nice. Charge and So because I didn't see any instructions or directions, well, now we know that that slide. The question though is what is charge? One through for the critical checkpoints. Great. Great, thank you. So, this is a neat little different take on Endless Runner. Uh, I'm also playing on a new gaming rig today, so I'm playing on the Lenovo Y50. Um, speed up key while running. Yeah, I just don't understand what the up arrow is. As close as possible to center, speed up object. So that didn't work. <laughs> So A is jump, 
B is slide. Okay, so why, okay, there we go. So Y is the upper up B. And that should also be how to charge. Now this level is just gonna be checking to see if you can achieve max speed. Hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Yep, I know. So this actually plays fairly well um, with the controller. And I mentioned that uh, during my review, which was quite some time ago. Sometime maybe two years ago, I guess. Bad hit. There we go. Nice, perfect hit. Uh, this is a really awesome game to play, but it can definitely be very frustrating. It incorporates kind of a lot of the same gameplay elements as, uh... You know, those old frustrating kind of arcade games. Left arrow, right arrow, keys. I hope this just works off the D-pad. So in this one, you are locked into a lane. Ah. And you've also got to manage your energy level, so... I'm just not a uh, Twitch kind of player. You know, games that are entirely built on just fast reaction speed are not my forte. Ah. Yeah, so you're going to see plenty of whips and gaffs today. Yeah, with this chrome monochromatic chrome background, it's really hard to pick out pick up when the uh, it's also an incredibly difficult game to talk <laughs> while playing. You just want to concentrate on the level. Uh, yeah, so I'm also um, experimenting with a new audio setup. Um, Two, one. Like I said in one of the earlier uh, failed recording. Ah, uh, great. A lot of trial and error in this game. Uh, so now you have to depart the pattern, get up here. So, a lot of, uh, yeah, collision detection in this game is a mother too. Okay, so that gives me a little con better contrast. Ah! Fortunately, I've gotten through a checkpoint there. So depending on how far I get today, uh, there are some incredibly double jump key and charge for jumping over big gaps. Uh, man. Double jump key and charge. Okay, so I thought the Y key charge key. That is not it. I have no idea. I forget what this charge key is. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's the right bumper. Got it. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, Woo! Nice. So this game reminds me a lot of, uh, kind of like... Whoa, 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 collect 10 batteries. Oh, okay. 
This game reminds me a lot of uh, Mirror's Edge in terms of you know, when you play a level and you string everything together. Maximum speed. It's really satisfying, but all the trial and <laughs> All the trial and error. Okay, so I'm gonna need to... Nope. I need to try a double jump. There we go. Ugh. No. Keep trying to get that extra battery, and I just need to let that go. I will say, we don't need to charge to break glass walls when going in my Oh man, it's hurting me all the way back. You lose a little bit of precision not playing with the keyboard. You know, when uh, you're trying to weave in between. Yeah, so for certain of these levels, it's just better to stay airborne and just not even deal with being on the ground. Is this under? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Man, checkpoints are life's blood here. Because without them... You gotta be kidding me! No way, come on, man. Dude, I'm sure that there are. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is on. So roundsies, there you go. Ugh, absolutely killer. Three, two, one. Less than 43 seconds. Yeah, what so now I don't know what the Y button is. Turbo you can use. Right. Turbo spins your current Slide. So say this game probably makes for some great video. Oh, I didn't really okay. Probably makes for some great Three, video. Two, one. Because of course I will only make highlights of the levels where I do well. <laughs> or the runs that I do well. Ugh. Okay, then you gotta hit turbo. Okay. So 
could barely pull that one off. That's one thing about this game. Uh, any level completion is a good level completion. I don't really care about stars or lightning bolts. In mobile games, you know, where they give you the one, two, or three star completion, I generally try to make sure I always get a three on every level, or, or at least two. In this game, I just want to be done. Nope. Battery. Speed gate. Great. Sometimes speed in this game is not your friend when it's uncontrolled speed. And, and my preferred levels are the ones where there aren't all the goofy, like, maximum speed gates like this. Slide. Three, two, one. So it'll be interesting to go back. I think. Oh no no no! Great. I think I have some video. Maximum Let's leave that maximum speed gate alone. Oh uh, no, you needed the maximum speed gate. Yeah. I think. Maximum speed. Go airborne and around. Uh, and yes, there are arrows above the walls here. It's just stank. Oh, no. I don't even know where to go. Heat levels where you have to do that. Nope. Nope. Too many times I just... Yeah, those are the worst. I was planning on playing a racing game today. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, Jack Burton said that he never drives faster than he can see. It's definitely not the case here. I think when I'm going over far right there, that is not the way to go. Ah! I think that was the right way, but I missed the timing on it. Nope. Oh no. So, when I reviewed this game a while ago... Nope. Uh. I'm doing that. And uh, I just reviewed the game based on how much of it I was able to get through. Uh, but I definitely had some frustrating times where... Ah, uh, come on. Where, uh... Welcome to virtual reality. Oh, I did not mean to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, that's luck. Um, one thing I want to do is let's play around with some of the visual options. Yeah, wire robot. 
No, not, I can't imagine playing this game in first person. Actually, once you get past the initial... kind of uncertainty in how exactly the controller input works, everything Three, else is fairly... Two, one. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, did I play this? Or was this just the beginning of that level? and uncertainty will kill you on this game every time. Looks like after all the difficulties, we finally figured out something to keep the stream holding together. So, I will say, this game... You know, one of the things that could make a game not fun, or at least... more work than... Uh, you know, so much work that I find it difficult to... breaks there was not the thing to do. Um, uh, this is that, uh, mm, just all that energy expended trying to figure out the game, you know, the physics. I mean, yeah, the first time through in this game, you spent so much time just trying to 
figure out the little tricks and whatnot that it makes it hard to uh, made it hard to have fun playing the game. Of course, I was doing it for a review too, so that made things. That's just a different experience, and I really don't have fun reviewing games. So I obviously get ah. that break lane. So many little tiny tricks you have to learn for levels, and I was never a uh, Nintendo player, but yeah, I guess this is a. Uh... I guess this is what people enjoy about Mario or whatever is having to figure all this stuff out. But you know, after learning just all the physics of the game, <laughs> you know, figuring out that the thing to do is to slow down and charge at the last second on those uh, glass walls there. That's something. not something that I was naturally thinking of. <laughs> so it's a strategy to get to that level. Love the music in this Three, game though. Two, one. Of course this is what I love about Twitch more than anything is there are all sorts of people popping in and out of the room. When I, my hardware setup was all dorked up, of course now that I got it figured all out and working properly, no one has come by. It's Saturday afternoon, I guess. Kids are playing outside. Great. Don't switch too soon. Problem, I'm primary. I'm the area that I'm having problems with is way off from the checkpoint. We secured the checkpoint. There we go. Yeah, I'm making way better time getting through this Three, this time around with the controller. Two, one. Now it may also be, again, because I 
step over the way. Yeah, okay. Uh, now I missed the other launching pad. Yeah, but I'm sure there are all sorts of Twitch gamers out there who are just naturals at getting through this stuff the first time. I'm not one of those. There we go. Ah. Okay, well, let me save the checkpoint. I mean, that's one thing I have to kind of keep in mind is a lot of times this game is not about getting it all perfect the first time, but it's just about hitting the checkpoints. Uh, I remember this wall, but I do not remember how to get over it. Crazy. It's such a continuous shift in rhythm to get through these levels fast, slow, fast, slow. Three, two, one. And for me, at least, uh, like I said, I know everyone would not be challenged by this game, but you know, I'm much better suited to a game that, uh, was that a triple jump? Look at that. Yeah, I'm just such such a such a racing gamer. You know, I'm so used to having control over all the physical forces in this game that uh, that you don't have control over. So, for one thing, and then also range of vision is something that. Yeah, just that ability to look way down the road and, you know, for your turn or your power slide or whatever you're doing to actually be about the place you're going to, not the place where the car is. I keep wanting to try this right-hand side for some reason. A lot of times, for me, getting through a level is just about taking a risky path and trying something out. Uh, not that. This game for me is a lot more white knuckle than a racing game would nope. I'll be there. So if I am gonna be playing this, I definitely need to get some grippies for my controller. Like I have for the wired one. Ah Man, 
Man, there's so many things that would make this game a lot more enjoyable to play. It's like a lateral... Ah, I did that before. It's like a lateral dodge move. I wish you could just... Uh, I wish you could just dodge left or dodge right. Like you can in a lot of our favorite shooters. Just crazy. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I'm sure we've all played games where, uh, where just the insane happens, but that is like this game on any average level. So many times you're, you're convinced something's about to go wrong. Three, two, one. And that's another thing. So I'm definitely playing this game. I'm pretty sure when I played this before, I would typically only like playing for like 30 minutes at a time. Sitting through a full hour of this. Oh, yeah. Playing this game is a lot like dancing, which I'm also not very good at. So on this level, I'm doing a mix of hitting one button, duck, maximize my speed charge, hitting turbo. Checkpoint on this level? Yeah, every once in a while I hit uh I mistakenly hit the slide key when I mean to hit turbo or max boost. Seconds you have to complete this? Three, 42 two, seconds. One. Rough. I literally missed that by one Three, second. Two, one.
Okay, a little time to spare this time. Rough. Three, two, one. So, I think I've only got like another level or two in me. This is just a little too hectic. Also, not a great game to be playing while you're also trying to talk at the same time. Yeah. You know, the whole walking and chewing bubblegum thing. Not. It's easy when you're playing Tech 3001. And this is like the first time I've played the game since I wrote that review a couple years ago. Checkpoint. The Advanced collector. Yeah. Alright, yep, so I think I'm gonna bounce, and uh, since I've got the wireless controller hooked up, I may go ahead and check out some project cars. So I got maybe about 20 minutes. Alright guys, well thanks a lot for joining the stream, sorry the startup was so janky. Uh, now that we have this figured out, hopefully it won't be so difficult next time. Out!